Hey guys, this is Cotton Candy Lemon, and I just recently got into the no testing on animals um, thing. So I'm gonna start only buying products that from companies that do not test on animals. Um, I, if I have companies that do, I'm gonna use up their products, but never repurchase. Okay, so I'm gonna start with products that do not test on animals and then stick around and I'll tell you the companies that do okay one thing you might be surprised about is Tresemme. Tresemme does not test on animals so you can buy their heat protectant, I have their shampoo conditioner, hairspray they do not test on animals which is really nice because you know you know you don't want to test on animals Another drugstore company, I'm going to be doing drugstore because most high ends do not test on animals because they have more money to test on other things, but I'm not sure why. Like, I'd pay more for something just to know that it's not tested on animals. Another co drugstore company that does not test on animals is New York Color. And I was surprised to find this because they're really cheap, but, you know, they're not tested on animals. Another um, company that doesn't is Revlon. I have some of their nail polishes, and they have a really good selection of lipsticks, really good selection of eyeshadows, things like that. Revlon does not test on animals. Okay, um, you might be surprised about this, but, um... NYX and ELF do not test on animals, so they're like really cheap companies, but you know that you're not gonna be buying products that might, you know, be tested on animals. So it's really nice that those aren't, because they're nice and cheap. I'm sorry if I keep looking down, because I have a list. Um... Okay, Physician's Formula does not test on animals, which is good, and Almay does not. So those are the lists of, like, drugstore brands that do not test on animals for, like, mostly makeup. For nail products, Essie polishes themselves do not, but I'll get into the L'Oreal situation later, too. Also, the body shop, which is between high end and low end, is um, does not test on animals, but I'm going to get to the L'Oreal thing in a minute. Okay, so these are the, pro the companies that do test on animals. Okay, so now I'm going to talk to you about L'Oreal. L'Oreal has said that it does test on animals, and the controversy with the body shop behind that is that you know they are owned by L'Oreal although their singular products themselves do not test on animals paying for their products would kind of be like giving a little bit of money to an organization that does test on animals so it's kind of controversial there also like I said, what did I say? With Essie nail polishes, I have a couple. Um, they themselves do not, but they're owned by L'Oreal now. And L'Oreal does test on animals. Okay, now I'll just give you a list of companies owned by L'Oreal and other companies you may want to avoid. Okay, um, L'Oreal owns Maybelline. I know I'm sad too because I really like Maybelline stuff. It owns Rimmel London. It owns L'Oreal Paris. Um, and it owns, I believe it owns Garnier. If I'm wrong, correct me, but I believe it owns Garnier. Also, I was about to buy the L'Oreal on that hairspray because I heard it was really good, but then I heard they tested on animals. So I think I'm going to go and check out some, like, Tresemme hairspray. Um, so other companies that are not associated with L'Oreal, or I don't think they are, that do test on animals 
our chapstick. You might be surprised about this because it's just chapstick. So I personally, I have my J.R. Watkins or you can go get like Bath and Body Works chapstick. Or you can go and get like Burt's Bees. That's nice. I like Burt's Bees. Okay. Um, so another company is CoverGirl. This is a little bit controversial because if you check out their statements, what they say is that they only test on animals in extreme cases where, like, it's required by the law that they test on animals. So, um, that's a little bit, like, undecided for me. I'm sure if there's a product I really really want to get I think I'll get it but otherwise I I don't think I'm going to be purchasing much cover at all anymore okay and another one which is not completely makeup but you might want to avoid is Johnson and Johnson I know that's like one of the biggest companies but that company does test on animals so you may want to avoid it okay um so, if you have any questions on other companies that do test on animals, just contact me and, or write a comment below and write other, I can do other tutorials, things like that. But I thought a video on this would be really nice because, you know, sometimes we're out of mind about what products to buy and what products not to buy. So, yeah, I hope you like it and... I think this has really given me a new focus on things because personally I don't believe in animal testing for cosmetics. I don't know about medical, I don't really have a view on that yet, but for cosmetics we've been testing for so long we should know what ingredients, you know, will work and won't break us out and some foundations or anything might break us out but it's better than having it tested on animals because here are some facts. A hundred million animals, it's estimated, die year round from being tested on. Also, one of the most common known um, animal testing thing is where they take a rabbit's eye and they drip chemicals into it to see if it will irritate it. But the problem with this is, well, that's a big problem they keep them in cages and even if they don't keep them in cages their quarters may be nice but they're suffering their eyes are hurting and you might want to they might make a nice habitat for them but in their brains and in their minds they're suffering and a lot of them in the end die um so yeah also, like, you can buy organic makeup, and I think that's a better alternative. Or even, like, Revlon, I told you that. They don't test Physicians Formula, NYX, ELF, our cheapest besties. They don't test. So, yeah, I hope this helps, and I'm just going to do a quick outfit of the day. Okay, so I'm just going to move back. Okay, my outfit is just a Adafa Rite Le Prada dress. It's really cute. I can't really explain it. It's kind of a tunic, so I do wear shorts underneath. But it's really cute. Um, yeah. And then I belted it with this double braided belt I got with another dress at Zara. And yeah, I think it's kind of cute. And yeah, I hope that you guys learned something. Oh, and the color I have on my nails is Fifth Avenue by Essie. And then I just have a, what's this brand? Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Silver on there. And on my toenails, I have this Revlon color, Make Mine Mango. So yeah, I hope you learned some things and bye. Give me suggestions, subscribe. <laughs>